Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie. And today we have an unboxing. We are unboxing my PR from Gerard Cosmetics. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you love Gerard Cosmetics like I do. Alright, so to get started, you guys, I am unboxing my Gerard Cosmetics PR box. And if you guys don't know, I am on the PR for Gerard Cosmetics. I also have a discount code down below in the hot box that'll save you some money if you're looking to buy any of these products as well as any other products that they offer. So they did give us a, well, they did give me a hundred dollar credit in order to pick up some things that I been wanting and that's how the PR goes with them. So I did decide to get the GC Love Box this month that came out. This one was the, I want to say this one was the $25 box and it came four to five items in the box. The Gerard Cosmetics always come through when it come down to the Love Boxes, you guys. If y'all don't get anything else, take a shot at the Love Boxes because I did a Love Box I want to say that was 2019 and I got the really big box and I really enjoyed that one. I will have that video linked somewhere in this video. So the five products that I got in the GC Love Box were these five products and then with the remainder of the credit I did pick up some lippies and stuff that I wanted to try out. So we're going to start with the GC Love Box and let me show you guys what the smallest box consists of. So the first item is gonna be the Slay All Day Setting Spray and this one is in the Cucumber, which I absolutely love the Cucumber one. GC does have one of the setting sprays and I wanna say it's the Pepper Mini one that somewhat like, I don't wanna sound bad about it, but it stings my face so I couldn't wear that one too often because it always gave me like a burning sensation and I want to say it was the minty one so I did give that to my sister I passed it along to her but I do still have another cucumber setting spray in my drawer over here so I was happy to get another one because they do come in this small size as well as the big size but the small size is the one fluid ounce and I love using these and these always smell so freaking good. I did get a lipstick and this one is in Buttercup and it's one of the bullet lipsticks. Buttercup, I love how Gerard Cosmetics always comes in these gold ones and here's what Buttercup looks like. Very, very light nude but these are matte and I am going to swatch it but they're like a creamy matte like almost like a satin and it just oh, it's so pretty okay it doesn't say like the different formulas but this one is in the shade buttercup I think I could wear that it's not too bright like I thought it would be so I think I would be able to wear that the next one is a supreme lip cream and this one is in electric rose and the supreme creams are like a thick lip gloss almost like a liquid lipstick so it looks like this and this is a barbie pink so i am gonna swatch every last one of them for you guys but these are almost like a liquid lipstick but they're like a thick lip gloss so it is springtime so i guess i will be able to wear that right now and then the last one is a lip pencil and this one is in luna I never use the ones that the love box give because they're never my shade. So Luna looks like this. Luna looks like this, which is very, very light pink, almost like a dusty rose color. And to me, it just wouldn't flatter me, but Mudslide is one of my favorite lip liners from Gerard Cosmetics. So Luna will go into my makeup kit for my clients because that's the only way I would get use up out of that lip gloss. This is a part of the love box. I did get five items because I didn't get a metal matte lipstick on my own. This came into the love box too. And this one is in double shot. And she looks like this. 
And I know I didn't pick this one <clears throat> because I don't do metallic lips like talking about, but Double Shot seems to be very cute. I think I will wear her. She's a brown metallic nude type of liquid lipstick. So I don't think she will be too metallically metallic too metallic on my lips and show like boom bam on me so but they do have a purple one they have a purple one that i absolutely love and it's a metallic lip too so that was five products in the love box so move on into the products i picked this one is the long rare hydromat liquid lipstick and this one is in 1995 you guys, looking at them online made you fall in love. So I chose 1995 only because of how nude it is. And I love that it comes in these frosted bottles. I did pick 1995. It seemed like it's gonna be the perfect nude for me. And I really wanted to try this out. I should wipe off my lips right now and put this on because that is really pretty. I like 1995. I thought it would be a rosy nude and it is a rosy nude, something that I will wear. And these Hydra lips always feel so minty on your lips, but they dry down so mad that it doesn't budge. So I'm happy I picked up 1995. My next one is another Hydra matte and this one is in Boss Lady. I can't remember what all these shades look like just from the names, but this is what Boss Lady looks like. Oh yes, I remember now. It's a dark doo-doo brown, but like on a burgundy brown side, which oh, I cannot wait to wear. Mudslide is like the perfect brown to have in your collection. Must slide on all Gerard Cosmetics lip liners. They are really, really creamy and thick and they last all day. As well as the lipsticks, they, whew, I love the liquid lipsticks. They just, they dry down so good and so soft. And like I said, they just don't move and the lip liners are so creamy and thick. It reminds you of the MAC lip liners. The next one I got is in Mudslide and it's another Hydro liquid lipstick. And the reason why I got Mudslide is because of that lipstick. It's because of that lip liner Mudslide that I've been talking about and raving about this whole time. I thought I might as well get the liquid lipstick to match with the lip liner and do like an ombre effect. And yes, I know it's going to be really, really, really pretty. Um, the next one I got is Plum Crazy, and you guys know I love a vampy lip, so I wanted to get Plum Crazy to go with my MAC Night Moth lip liner, and I think Plum Crazy and that one would go good together. I went for more nudes and browns this time, which is really, really turning out to be good. Oh. That one's so pretty. It's just a shade darker than this one. So the last item I got is a bullet lipstick. And this one I got in the shade Nude. And I think this one is just like the Buttercup one. They're matte, but they're creamy. But look at Nude. She's more on the brown side. No, she comes off sheer too. But she's a darker shade Nude. Y'all, okay, wait a minute. She's barely showing up, but there she is right there. So that is it for my PR unboxing with Gerard Cosmetics. I will be back, I was thinking you guys, I will be back to do a lip swatch of all of the products that I got in this unboxing, as well as I will put a video up on my Instagram of all of the lip swatches if you guys 
would like to see lip swatches before going to purchase check out my coupon code have the coupon code on deck for when you're ready to buy click the link that's down there it'll send you straight over to gerard cosmetics i want to thank gerard cosmetics for sending me over these products i can't wait to play in them these are some good colors that i know i will wear if you guys would like a full collection of gerard cosmetics like lip swatches and try on let your girl know down below in the comments because i will get that up to you but for sure with this pr box i will be doing a lip swatch video here on my channel as well as over there on instagram hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and in the words of my loyal subscriber you guys keep shining and i will catch y'all in the next one